Hey guys, I've got a haul for you today. Uh, I have some things that I've purchased, some things in PR. Same old, same old drill. I'm gonna leave the PR stuff for the end, so if you're not interested, you can just click off. Uh, but I am gonna start with the things that I have purchased myself. And um, my hair is incredibly flat today, and it's because I didn't, I didn't blow dry it. I just let it air dry, and this is what happens. <laughs> I like turned on the camera and I looked in the viewfinder and I was like, what is happening? <laughs> That's what's going on with my hair. And if you ever see my hair like this, it's because I didn't blow dry it. Okay, first thing I'm gonna show you is <laughs> the Star Wars palette from Pat McGrath. This is the six pan palette, the gold one, the one with C-3PO on it. And I, I've, mentioned this in so many of my videos, so I, I'll just breeze through this, but I basically had to place like, I think four different orders, or I had to not even place orders, so I'll tell you the story about this, but basically I had to get it in four parts, all of the Star Wars pieces, because that release was such a mess. So this palette, I couldn't order on her site. Uh, I don't think it was ever available on Sephora, and then it was supposed to be available on Selfridges, but it, it wasn't really, and you could only buy it in store, and so a friend of mine who is much, much more tenacious than I am, she actually called Selfridges, and they said no, they would not sell to anyone like phone order outside of the UK, and so my friend was then on a mission. So she actually got in touch with someone in the UK, a friend of hers, uh, to go to Selfridges and purchase this and then mail it to us. So that is why I have this. Now, it's taken a while. Not that I am complaining in the least bit. I have told my friend to thank her friend a thousand times for me, for, on my behalf. And I mean, wow, what a good friend. So anyway, I finally have this in my hands. I feel like the excitement for this collection and this palette was completely just 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 trampled all over by how messed up the release was but here is the palette haven't even touched it um but let's let's go ahead and touch it together so i'll just swatch a couple because i think i think we all know how ooh how pat mcgrath shadows are these are really creamy wow pretty look how pretty that one is that's this one down down here i'll just do them on my hand ooh so so pretty are any of these colors repeats let's see galactic gold bronze violet void corruption this actually sounds familiar i wonder if this is someplace else um electron and gold standard this actually sounds familiar also so i swatched galactic gold electron and violet void the electron has like the most amazing like it's like an orchid color. It like really shifts to like a bright, like fuchsia. I don't think the camera's picking it up, maybe over there, but it's really pretty. So, so yay, I have the Star Wars Galactic Gold palette now. My Star Wars collection is, is basically, basically complete, basically complete. I don't have all the lip products, but I do have all the palettes now and Yay. Next, I got the uh, Millennial Pinks palette from Melt Cosmetics. It just arrived today. Um, I ordered it off of their site, I think not the day it launched because I just completely spaced out. I think I ordered it the second day and it was still available. I think it may still be available. In any case, it was available on their site. If it still is, I'll link to it down below in my description box, but um, it's probably gonna appear on Sephora's site within the next couple of weeks. That's usually how they do releases. But here is the packaging that it came in. This is like raised. And here is the palette. Oh, it is so, so pretty. But I will say, I think I was watching, I was watching someone's anti-haul. I think it was Lauren May Beauty. And she pointed out that these two colors at the end were really just very, very close and I would have to agree with her. Maybe on the eyelids it will look a little different, these two colors, but in the pan they do look very, very similar. But I do love all of these colors. Look how pretty those are. This one is called Pink Noise, and it looks white in the pan, so of course I need to touch it. So let's go ahead and swatch that one. Oh yeah, this has like a pink gold shift to it. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, it's like a pinky gold shift where it almost comes off like it looks peachy pink. 
I'm excited for that. And then let's do this Ruby Spar color. Ooh, that looks pretty too. There is Ruby Spar. Ooh. And then of course, let's do a matte color. Let's do this Flamingo Dream. This color right here. So, so soft. That feels really nice. That is gorgeous. Look at that. If you guys want a dedicated video to this palette, please let me know. I'd be happy to do it. I have really been such a sucker for these like Valentine's pinky, purpley themed palettes that have been coming out lately. I just, who knew? Who knew? I mean, I've always liked pink, but I never have fallen head over heels in love with like pink eyeshadow until now. So I'm really excited to have this in my hands and yeah, let me know if you want a dedicated video. Oh wait, I also ordered, hold on. I forgot, there's a lot of like tissue paper in here. I also ordered one of their gel liners called, oh my God, <laughs> it's called Prissy. I thought it was pussy. So here's the little jar it comes in. I've never ordered anything other than eyeshadow. Oh no, that's a lie. Eyeshadows and highlighters from Melt, that's it. But I've never tried one of their gel liners. And I just thought this color was so unique. Ooh, oh wow. Look at that color. Yeah, it seemed really unique um, online and definitely does not disappoint in person. That looks really beautiful. How cool. The other color that they have with this collection is like a silver. Not that I have a silver gel eyeliner in my collection, but I feel like I've seen that around. I, I didn't feel like it was quite as unique as this one. So that's why I decided on Prissy. So yeah, if I do a dedicated video on that uh, palette, I will definitely, definitely use this as liner. All right, and then I picked up some new lip products from Sephora, and I had mentioned these in a Will I Buy It video, and I wanted to buy these. So the first thing I got was the Fenty, <clears throat> excuse me, was the Fenty Gloss Bomb, the Universal Lip Luminizer, and I got it in the hot chocolate color. Isn't that so pretty? There's like little flecks in there that kind of shift to like a red. It's really, it's such a pretty color. Let me go ahead and swatch this for you. We've got the giant doe foot applicator. This is just like all of her other like full size um, gloss bombs. And there is the swatch. And this smells just like her other gloss bombs too. It has that, oh, it just, it smells like something else and I cannot place it. But I feel like it has the smell of like, uh, the scent of like toy makeup from when I was younger. I wish I could place it. And then Gucci came out with new lipsticks. The finish is new. The official name for the finish is Gothic or Gothique. I think it's just Gothic. And they're a metallic lip color. So I got Lynn Silver and they come in you know, the Gucci box. It looks like their perfume box, but smaller. And then the bullet packaging has stars on it. I love the stars. And here is Lynn Silver. This was just such an interesting color. I was like, I gotta try that. So let's do a swatch of this. That is really pretty. I don't know. I don't know how that will look on the lips, but I think that's really cool. I think that will look nice with some sort of lip liner layered underneath, maybe a lip gloss layered on top. So that is Lynn Silver. And then I also picked up my Forbidden Past. And this one was more of a gold. <laughs> you guys know I couldn't pass up the gold lipstick. Ooh, look at that. Another color that would be a lovely, lovely eyeshadow. But <laughs> here, here we have it in lipstick form. Of course, I could probably put it on my eyelids, which which I may try. Yeah, I may, I may definitely try that. Definitely with this one, because that's so pretty. But isn't that lovely? And the formula feels really creamy. Ah, so I'm really excited to have these new lippies in my collection. Um, is that all I got at Sephora? Oh no, I did actually, um, I placed a different order on Sephora, but this was from Sephora as well. So I actually met up with um, an influencer friend. Uh, his name is Steve Jan, if you're not following him. You should, he is a skincare expert and he actually is um, the national ambassador for SK2. Anyway, I met up with him in Vegas. He did not have any PR for me, which is totally fine. I mean, he was traveling here for something else, um, but he was telling me about the products and he like recommended some things to me. So I went on to Sephora and purchased them and I got the Patera Essence set. He thought that that would be kind of like a good starting point. So this has three things in here. We have the treatment mask, the SK2 treatment mask. And 
I don't have any real experience with SK-2. I feel like I tried the Essence like a gazillion years ago. I mean, really, I think like 12, maybe 12 years ago, and I can't really remember my experience with it. So anyway, I feel like this is my first go with SK-2. Um, so the mask comes in here, then there is the facial treatment essence, and I think this is really what SK-2 is known for. And this is a glass bottle, which is really nice, it's very weighty. And then we have the facial treatment clear lotion. This is plastic. So those three things come in the Patera Essence set. And so many of you have asked me about my opinion on SK2, which is why I really wanted to try this out. And it was really nice to have um, Steve kind of guide me as to what he thought like I should try. So he also recommended the Eye Cream Radical New Age uh, RNA Power. And this is an eye cream. So here's the eye cream. Really beautiful, beautiful tub. I love this like red color and it comes with a little spatula. So I got that. And then lastly from SK2, I got the Aura Essence. It's the illuminating essence. And this one just really caught my eyes. It has a little safety seal. Oh, it's a little dropper. Okay. So in the cap, there's like a little button up here. So there it is on my skin. Ooh, how pretty. It feels really nice. It has a nice slip. I smell something. I don't know if it's fragrance per se, but it smells nice. So the third ingredient in here is niacinamide. And as I understand it, it's like a like a brightening ingredient. I think it's supposed to help get rid of like spots and stuff. I am definitely developing a lot of spots, which were once really cute freckles, but now they're like turning into like liver spots. So I'm excited to give this a shot. This is the Gen Optics Aura Essence. So that's what I got from SK2, and that is all I got from Sephora. Um, so since we were talking about skincare, I did also pick up the new serum from Victoria Beckham and Augustinus Batter. So this is the box that it comes in. And it says, apply a few drops onto fingertips, massage into freshly cleansed skin in gentle upward strokes until fully absorbed, follow with moisturizer. We suggest cell rejuvenating priming moisturizer. Can be used daily, morning, and night. So here is the bottle. It's a glass bottle. And I actually, I love the aesthetic of it. It looks very, very luxurious. It looks very, very chic. But at the same time, I think it looks very, very like laboratorial scientific as well, probably because it has this dropper at the top. So the dropper is actually like a squeezy. So you can unscrew this cap and then you flip it upside down and then you squeeze the opening. So I actually used it today. It's really, really nice. Um, and I was actually Marco Poloing with uh, the glam Dr. Mona and she got it too. And so we were kind of going back and forth and she pointed out very astutely that because, you know, the Victoria Beckham line is like clean, that there aren't really any um, silicones in here. So she felt like she had to use a little bit more than the average serum that has a little bit more slip. I had to agree with her. With this, I had to use probably like eight to 10 drops just to get it kind of like all over because you know it absorbs quickly and it doesn't spread as easily as something with like a silicone in there. So there is, well, there's niacinamide in this as well. <laughs> That must be like the hot new ingredient. So there's niacinamide in here. I actually don't know ingredients well enough to know whether there is or isn't silicones in here at all. From what uh, the Glam Dr. Mona was saying is that it's definitely not at the top. You know, usually it's like there's water and then some sort of silicone, but I don't see that. It's water and then glycerin. So anyway, I am really, really excited to be trying this out. I'm gonna be trying this out first. Obviously I started with it today and then I'm gonna be getting to the SK2 stuff. But my skin, no reaction to it or whatever. Um, all the makeup that I have on my face is listed down below so you can see what I'm wearing. I'm basically wearing the same exact makeup I wore in my Chanel bag, like what's in my bag video. Just really, really simple makeup. So I don't actually have much on. You can actually see like a lot of my like real skin. So yeah, like no bad reactions or anything. I'm very, very happy, but I'm gonna continue using this at least for a month and report back to you guys. So that's the new Cell Rejuvenating Power Serum from Victoria Beckham and Augustinus Batter. I also purchased some of the MAC Glow Play, is that what they're called? Glow Play blushes. And I talked about these on my live stream, so I am not going to talk about them too much again. In case you were on the live stream, I don't wanna to be too redundant, but I am gonna be featuring these either in like a trying new makeup or a dedicated video. So I have three of these colors and then I also got the um, highlighter in the color Postmodernist Peach from their Loud and Clear collection. 
complexion. So this is one of their extra dimension skin finishes and it's, it's really beautiful. So anyway, I just wanted to mention these, but I'm gonna move on since I already talked about them um, in a separate video. And then I actually placed an order on Selfridges. I think the sun just went down. Let me change the exposure here. Sorry guys. There we go, I think that's better. All right, um, I also placed an order on Selfridges. And this is another one that I talked about in my, I think in my last Will I Buy It, but Natasha Denona came out with these face glow cream shimmer, like cream highlight sticks. And I haven't seen these available in America yet. So I just went ahead and ordered it on Selfridges. So I ordered the shade 02 medium beige, the first shade, the lightest shade looked a little bit too cool toned and frosty. So I decided to go for medium and here's the packaging. Wow, the cap was not on tight at all. So it says face glow cream shimmer and then it has the Natasha Denona logo there. And it's in this nice kind of like champagne gold finish. This packaging, this packaging seems a little a little wonky but it does it does work it does it does raise and lower which is a good thing but here is the color medium and let's hope this isn't too deep for me oh, I don't think so it's it's definitely on the gold side but the metallic sheen of it is is pretty bright that I think I can pull it off that's very pretty wait let's see how emollient it is oh it's it's pretty creamy oh wow it actually blends out really beautifully Oh, nice, look at that. The sheen really like softened, but it's really pretty. It almost makes your, it almost leaves your skin looking very like wet, but subtly. I feel like you could maybe use this as like, kind of like an illuminating primer. I don't know, I think I'm definitely gonna have to play around with it. I know Natasha Denona has like a, a highlighter stick. I, I can't remember the name of it. So I'm a total moron. The existing Natasha Denona highlighter stick, it's the same name. So I think she's either just repackaged it, reformulated it, is re-releasing it or whatever. Her existing one is like sold out everywhere. So yeah, I don't think this is a new problem of it, but it comes in like white packaging. I never tried those for some reason. I mean, I love a cream highlighter, but I don't know if these are like a redo of those or if this is supposed to be something different. So anyway, I picked that up at Selfridges. I would imagine it's coming to the US sometime soon, but I haven't seen it here quite yet. And then one last thing that I purchased that you guys haven't seen yet is one of the new Laura Mercier face illuminators in the shade Affection. So she came out with a couple of new highlighters uh, for her spring collection. And I just, I had to get this because it has the really pretty flower embossing. So her highlighters usually have that kind of like wave, like really beautiful like wave design in there, which is just gorgeous. But when I saw these flowers, I was like, oh, these are really pretty. So this color Affection is not one, I don't believe that exists in her um, highlighter line, the, the one with the waves. So I was really happy to pick this up and I got this at Nordstrom. So let me do a quick swatch for you. And if my fingers are not lying, they feel very, very similar to her regular highlighter, the highlighter with the waves in there. But here is Affection. That is pretty. That is really, really shiny. So that is the new highlighter from Laura Mercier. I'm so excited and it looks like they're kind of using their new logo with the simpler font. Looks like they're rolling it out to all their packaging. So that is nice. All right, so I'm gonna keep it rolling with Laura Mercier, but we are moving into the things that I received in PR. So I got this lovely box from Laura Mercier. Let's open it up here. All right, and this was what was inside the Laura Mercier box. <laughs> Another Laura Mercier box. And what do we have here? I actually have not gotten a chance to open this. Oh, neat. I guess this is their Valentine's Day promo. 14 Valentine's Day products. Oh, wow. So there's lip liners, uh, Laura Mercier lipsticks, a mini loose powder, and oh, the blush color infusions. I love these blushes. So let's take a look. So we have the mini translucent loose setting powder. This is gonna go into a giveaway. I have so many of these laying around and I personally am not the biggest fan of this powder. I feel like it makes my dry skin look really, really dry. I'm probably just not using it properly. But anyway, I'm gonna put this into a giveaway. And then we have, let's see, three of these 
Rouge Essential. Oh wow, there's Rose Rouge, Rose Decadent, and Fuchsia Intense. I feel like I got Fuchsia Intense already and that went into my last giveaway. So I will put this in the next giveaway. Yeah, this is just a color I'm not gonna use that often, as beautiful as it is. I'm just going to untouched, put this back in the box, throw this into my giveaway. Rose Decadent, wow, these colors look incredible. That is so beautiful. So again, I'm not gonna swatch it, I'm just gonna put it into my giveaway. I have so many lipsticks. I have a lot of these Laura Mercier lipsticks, so I just wanna share the love. And then this Rose Rouge, this is a color that I may keep. It's like a deeper, darker red. Let's see. That is beautiful. Okay, this may go into my giveaway. I just, I have so many lip products. All right, and then we have four um, Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks. These are the ones that come in like the crayon shape. So there's four colors here. I just wanted to show you what the colors are. I am not the biggest fan of matte lipsticks, so I'm going to throw these into the giveaway, but these are really pretty sorry this is this is hard to do because all the flaps are kind of blocking them here are the four colors aren't those so pretty let me just actually take out one so you guys can see but it comes in this like skinny pencil style packaging really really easy to apply i wish i was a matte lipstick lover i'd be all over these but just not my thing so i'm gonna throw these into the giveaway and then two lip liners that look right up my alley here is plumberry oh yeah this looks like a fantastic nude all right i may keep this one and then baby lips is this color which looks a little bit peachier let's see yeah this looks a little lighter and peachier so i think i'll throw this into the giveaway and then i'll give plumberry a try and then last but not least they included four of their blush color infusions they have strawberry fresco which is my favorite, peach, and then sangria. Sangria is the only one that I don't have, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one. Ooh, what a rich, rich tone. Ooh, love that. That is sangria. How beautiful. So the rest, the three others, I will put into the giveaway. These are probably my three favorite colors. Yeah, fresco, peach, and strawberry. They're so, Beautiful. They're just so bright on the cheeks, just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna throw these into the giveaway also. And then Cicely sent me their brand new Pure Bright Activating Serum. I'm so excited to give this a shot. It's part of their Fito Blanc line. Let's see, it's a powerful radiance activating serum. Le Concentrate visibly improves the skin's transparency and the appearance of dark spots morning and evening. Wow, I have a lot of dark spot removal stuff. Let's see, is there, ah yes, niacinamide is in here as well. So there's water, sunflower seed oil, glycerin, uh, butylene glycol, and then niacinamide. So it's the one, two, three, it's the fifth ingredient in here. Let me go ahead and open this up. I'm really, I'm really excited to see if this will help with my dark spots. And as I understand it, anything that kind of helps to lighten your skin, you have to be really careful i'm not sure don't quote me on this but i think you have to be really careful and make sure to use spf which i'm not always the best at but if i start using this stuff i think i'm gonna have to be so yeah you know what i should just think of it that way anyway because i should be wearing my spf every day <laughs> oh and if any of you out there are curious as to whether or not i'm going to be reviewing the new sisley tinted moisturizer I am, for sure. Cicely did not send out PR for that, but they said they were gonna send me samples of it um, because I went onto Nordstrom and, oh, and the actual Cicely site to order it, but shades one and two seem to be sold out. Definitely one is sold out everywhere. Two is definitely sold out on Nordstrom. So I'm just waiting for it to get restocked or waiting for um, a sample to be sent because they don't even have any samples in store. <laughs> So anyway, I'm just waiting on that, but I am definitely, definitely going to be reviewing that product. I'm very excited for it. Ooh, so the serum comes in a bottle like this. I am not going to use this just yet because, like I said, I'm testing out that Victoria Beckham one. So I'm just going to kind of put this back in the box and I'm going to test this out as well. I'm so excited for this. Thank you so much to Cicely for sending this over to me. Oh, and a huge thank you to Laura Mercier for sending over that amazing box. I don't think I thank them. Thank you so, so much. And then, oh my gosh, okay. I am so excited to have this. So New Face sent me their Trinity. 
and I purchased um, a small new face device myself and these are not waterproof, at least not the one that I got. And I just, I just kind of spaced and I ran the whole thing underwater uh, because it had like stuff on it, you know, cause you have stuff on your face. Anyway, I ran it underwater and just completely fried the whole thing. And I'm like, I am such an idiot. And I was using it, I probably used it for about a month and I started to see like a lift in my eyebrow here. I was like, so, so happy. Uh, but I just, I just haven't gotten around to buying another one. Oh, they sent this to me. So I'm going to do, I haven't unboxed it or anything yet, but I'm going to do a full like 30 day before and after thing for you. I, I'm going to try and start tomorrow. But this one is the complete facial toning system. So it comes with like this little device. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really pointy. Actually, let me just go ahead and open it. Ooh, so the whole thing slides out. Oh God. It's really snug. Here's the device. And I first saw this, I should mention, in one of Lisa Eldridge's videos. Was it her Christmas gift or, or maybe she was just talking about like devices. This was long ago. This was maybe almost a year ago on her channel. Anyway, I've been really obsessed with these devices ever since then. So here is the device. It's like a little bit smaller than my hand. These devices are not new, so I'm probably telling you all the things you already know. Um, but here is, looks like the charging stand in here. There's a little quick start guide. They include a little gel primer, the little power cord, and then the attachments. I don't know what that is. And then this attachment. I don't know what that is either. The model that I got was smaller and didn't have all of these attachments. So yeah, I'm really excited to be doing a before and after uh, for you guys. So keep an eye out for that for sure. And last, but definitely, definitely not least, BK Beauty has come out with another brush set. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I hope you enjoy our new precision collection and beauty sponge. Oh my God, wait, I don't think I realized they came out with a beauty sponge too, hold on. All right, the precision set comes with five brushes. It looks like we've got two face and three eyes. Okay, so here's brush 107. So it's pinched. Ooh, this is really, oh, this is gonna be great for cheek products. I think like for highlight or maybe just like little like contour, brontour action. Ooh, okay, so that's the 107. And then the 108, this looks wonderful too. Definitely great for highlight, maybe down the nose and stuff. <gasps> Powdering around the nose, ooh. This is a great shape, I love it. I love how it's like egg shaped at the top. So those are the two face precision brushes. And then we've got 206, which looks like a nice flat shader brush. Awesome. And then here is 207. I love brushes this shape. They're rounded. They have a slightly domed top and they're great for like cream shadows to kind of like blend in and like blend the edges out. This is awesome. I can't wait to try this. And then last but not least, we have 208, which is like the world's smallest angled brush. That is amazing for just like doing a really teeny wing. And then here is their beauty sponge. Oh wow, let's see. Here's your sponge. So it has a little bit of an hourglass shape. It has like a nice pointy top. And then it's got that nice, I, I tend to like really like a, a, I almost said a firm butt on my sponges, but you know, like a nice substantial butt on my sponges. I tend to use like the butt side of it more than the, the pointy side of my beauty sponges. But this looks really cool. I will definitely have to wet it. I will use it in like a trying new makeup video for sure, but I'm so curious how much this is gonna expand. And oh my God, they sent two of everything. <gasps> so there's a whole nother brush set in here and a whole other sponge. So guess what's gonna go into my giveaway? And you guys probably guessed it, and I don't really wanna jinx myself, but my next giveaway is when and if I hit 100,000 here on YouTube. So that's gonna be a biggie. I have accumulated and will be throwing in a lot of stuff into this giveaway. It's gonna be a really exciting time here on this channel. I'm hoping it happens, um, but we've got an extra sponge and the five brushes here. So I'm gonna put all of these into the giveaway. So thank you so, so much BK Beauty for sending me your new precision collection and an extra set for a giveaway that is so, 
amazing. Thank you so, so much. All right, guys, that is it for today's haul. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And of course, always comment with anything that you would like to see, like a full face on, the skincare, I will definitely try and get back to you on, but that takes a while. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.